Hello there! Welcome back to Vampire's Melody! Where? We're in a laundromat. <laughs> oh yeah, they've been asleep for like, what, a couple hundred years? I was also stunned by the array of washing machines that are currently running. Look for that machine number 12 on row, uh, row 5 first. Head right to the back of the laundromat and find a apparently falcon dress for in one corner. It doesn't look any different from the other ones around the place except for the machine number label. And Notice with words under repair. Please don't use. Not empty. Hmm. I remember it well, but what did someone put it inside? Um, the problem is it's down. Um, I still can't open it, open that trans transparent cylinder window. After taking a lot of time with the buttons, my actions have also attracted the shop owner's attention. Uh, what are you doing? What's, that's washing machine is spo spoiled. Here's another one. Here's your chance, you can kind of ask how to use this. I know, we just want to open this window. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about a lot of things, but I have a bad feeling about this. This laundry owner sees, sizes us up with his notice the enveloped on his hands. Breaks into a smile, then he pulls the edge of the window with one hand while pressing a button into a smile. Then he pulls the edge of the window with one hand while pressing the bu pressing a button near it with his other hand. And he opens the tra troublesome transparent panel easily. See, they have to be done at the same time. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's like over here going, the fuck? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm gonna shut it properly after you, you, you have it put. After you have it put. You said stuff inside it. I'll be around. You can look. For, you can look for me if you uh, need anything. Owner walks away while saying it. Okay. Now the fun part: putting sheer clothing in there and washing it. Place the envelope inside the folder. Follow the owner's instructions by shutting the window. Um, I don't think they understand what they're looking at. <laughs> uh, well, I should ask the owner. I'm actually kind of used to being near a washing machine, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Laundry is so big, I have to search through many areas before I can find the owner repairing a machine uh, in, his co in one corner. So, we'd like to wash some clothes? Could you help us? What kind of clothes? So he looks over at the clothes we have stuffed into a shopping bag provided by the boutique after we changed out of them. 
one. This one can be can go into the washing machine. This one, no. This one, eh, yeah. Matthew's uh, material on the clock before repeating with uh, repeating with the others. This one will never be dry, dry clean. This one will need to be dry cleaned. I cleaned. Well, at least he's learning shit. <laughs> That's a good thing. You want to know? No, I've never dry cleaned anything before. I don't even know where the frick to go. <laughs> what sort of new method to wash clothes is that? Right, you have to uh, wait until tomorrow to collect it. Uh, what? Uh, what is like? Would you like me to uh, clean them? Yes, clean them. Follow me. Okay, we're getting information. And follow the owner. Fill up the invoice, pay the deposit, and send our clothes to him. We're returning to Yellow with nothing in my hand. What on Yes, your clothes uh, were more special uh, and couldn't be washed the normal way. It, it'd have to be dry cleaned. Dry cleaning? God, the English. <laughs> yes, dry clean. Yes, I've never heard of, the, of it before. What sort of... What, Classes outfit was it? No. Wonder you didn't want to throw it away. Would explain explain it. It's freaking five gold coins. <laughs> it's also freaking tailor made. On top of it, five large gold coins. <laughs> yes. I guess in astonishment. Dress were dress worth five large gold coins? Is it really hard to imagine if I could last an entire year with that amount of money? Yet it would only cover one of her clothes at that time. Yeah. <sighs> We were alive a couple hundred years ago. <laughs> uh, I see, and rich girl. How come you you're such a spoiled uh, 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 spoiled brat? Okay, let's go with that spoiled brat. I thought her dress would have a good story behind it. The story is she superstarred was really something thir something though. Yeah. Five gold coins. <laughs> and we're using the gold standard. Yes, that's freaking expensive. Uh, that's because <laughs> I'm used to being poor, okay? Besides, I see that set of clothes was a, as a welcome gift from you. <laughs> so it's different now. When you start with nothing, cherish more. I will be honest with that about that. When you pretty much start with nothing, you pretty much cherish a lot more things, the way I see it. <laughs> Yellow sounds a bit flustered as she's desperately turns her head away while saying it. Her cheeks are slightly red and she seems to be blushing. Ah, you fell for it. 
I was only joking. I refuse. <laughs> Lash it out before I can, I can finish leaving a shoe print on my new clothes. I got just got hurt. My back last night. Don't kick me so hard. You might kill someone. Well, you two also haven't killed each other yet, which is good. Dear me, thank you very much then. I pat the dirt off my new clothes and step out the laundromat. What do you mean, swat a lot? I, I, I don't care. Oh. I don't know if he swat uh, swindled you or not. I don't know what the frickin' prices are. Nella looks back at the laundromat. It's not impossible. We haven't even seen them in person after all. Not be giving me options. It's always options. You know what? Save. Saying that we have the legendary quick save. Won't stop me. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with leaving pe with peace in mind. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> well, we don't have any other choice. Who knows if we might get into trouble for. Acting rashly, let's trust them for once at least. We'll decide on that if it happens. Now, I'll just want to get a drink somewhere. <laughs> At least you can find a place under a bridge, which would be something. Usual place. At least you know you two love to live in a freaking uh, restaurant for like what, several nights in a row? Since we went to the imposed. To the impulse on the 24 hour restaurant once again. We're spending the night at uh, entry for the third time. I'm amazed by the fact that the restaurant can be found in various parts of the city with the same name and decor. The menu offers are similar. And the food they serve tastes alike. It is hard to imagine this sort of thing from three centuries ago. After all, different chefs will have different ways of preparing their food, directly affect affecting the taste in the process. But I wonder how they could standardize everything. It's called, uh, they have freezers. Freaking <laughs> 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 drinking. Stella is engr engrossed in a black box called a television on the wall, and she laughs like a fool at times. You're watching. Titan vampire. Okay. Oh, she's sewing into freaking vampire flicks. Some realize freaking Twilight exists. <laughs> that one. Uh, thank God I didn't watch it. <laughs> ah, vampire? Television? Talking about a vampire? 
Don't tell me people know about vampires existing nowadays. Yeah, that's how uh, humans totally made vampires. <laughs> Not through falsified stars. <laughs> but from here, I think it's the best place to end the episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great one for time. We'll see these two freaking characters next episode. Maybe. I don't freaking know if we're going to even see both of them. So far, we're supposed to sing yelling. So, I hope all you guys have a great one for time. And a great day too. So, see you guys next time.